Okay, we're still working with continuously compounding uh, interest problems. And here's the equation. This time, we're either going to be missing interest rate or time. And it looks like it's time. How long will it take? So these are a little bit more complex because now you have a missing variable in, in the exponent. So we're going to fill everything out. Here's our account balance, A, here's our principal, P, and here's our rate. All right, so we need to get this T by itself. So the first thing I notice is there's attached 2120 that we're going to divide both sides by. And you don't even have to simplify this, this expression if you don't want to. I recommend that you don't because... Uh, you just don't have to for right now, all right? So now we have e to the something is equal to that. And you think, ah, now what? Well, every time you get to that, ah, now what? That's when you use the inverse operation. You're going to take the natural log of both sides. And remember, when you take the natural log, then you have to use the properties of logarithms. So this exponent comes down in front, which is what I did right there. Oh, and notice the natural log of E is one, so that can cancel. The only thing you have left to do, because we're trying to get T by itself, is to divide both sides by 0 0.02. Just like that, and I don't think that I have uh, put that in to the calculator yet, so let's do that now. So this is these are the keystrokes I'm going to have you do. So um, ln, it gives you a left parenthesis, so 2641.68, divide 2120, close parentheses, divide 0 0.02, enter. And what you have is, it says 10.999, so it is about... 11 years. And that's it for this one. I'm going to do another video for the one where it's missing rate, but this is for missing time.